Hello and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to fetch data from an external API in Airtable using the Data Fetcher extension. So we are going to connect to the REST countries API and import the names, flags, regions, and populations of countries into our Airtable base. So an external API is essentially a web service that allows you to connect with other applications and web services outside of Airtable. So in order to begin today, we're going to install the Data Fetcher extension. So over in the top right hand corner, you'll have this extensions option select add an extension and then the following will pop up where you can search in the right hand corner data fetcher just like so that will pop up you can select add and then select add extension now the following screen will load and you can either create a free data fetcher account or you can simply continue with Google and now it's time to import your data so select the create your first request button and under application we're going to select custom then just up here we want to retitle this request so we're going to rename this as fetch countries data just like so then from method you want to have this selected as get and for the URL you can head over to our datafetcher.com website where we have a blog on this exact topic and you can scroll down to find where we are at this point copy this URL over and then paste it into that input box just where it says enter request URL so that should now look like so with the HTTPS at the beginning restcountries.com forward slash v3.1 forward slash all if we run the request now it will return with a lot of country related data that we're just not interested in so in order to avoid this we're going to add some parameters. So just here you'll see these tabs and under parameters you're going to select add. Then the input box that says parameter we're going to add fields just like so and then for the value input box we are going to input name comma flags comma region comma population and now you'll see how this URL changes up here. Then we're going to select save and run in the bottom right hand corner and we'll arrive to the response field mapping screen and this is where you can decide which fields you would like to have imported into your Airtable base. So you'll notice that there are a lot of these fields that start with flags like so and then also name. The API returns different names of countries based on how they're called around the world. As for the flags, the API returns two image types and a description of the flag. We only need a country's common name and one flag image, so we're going to deselect the other fields and pick the one we want. So in order to do this, you want to head up over here in the top right hand corner, select deselect all, and then we're going to select the following fields. So we want name common, you can just turn this on like so, and we're going to map this to an existing field and for the field we're going to select name nice and simple then for flags png this first field here we're going to select that and map that to a new field titled as flag so you can take the rest of that content out there then we want to find the region field so you can use the search bar at the top to search for that turn it on and map to a new field region again but we want to change the type here so just from this drop down menu we're going to select single select nice then for the population again you can search that we're going to turn that on and map that to a new field titled as population now we're going to select save and run in the bottom right hand corner as you can see these fields are now being created and you can select show output table then we'll arrive back to the following screen you can close this little window over on the right hand side and you can see that that information has now been imported into your Airtable base with the list of countries and their data and as you can see the list goes on and on so hopefully today you have learned how to fetch data from an external API in Airtable Table. But like I mentioned before, if you do have any questions, you can always reach out to us here at datafetcher.com, where we also have that full length blog on this exact topic for you to learn that way as well. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn today. I really hope you have a good one.